Hello. Today we're going to talk about AI in the Box, a series of solutions and accelerators that you can use to build your AI solutions across ML, Edge, and generative AI like ChatGPT. So join us as we dive into some of the solutions that are out there and how you can contribute. So today we're going to talk about AI in the Box, and I just really want to share this this cool collaboration um, that. You know, everybody on our team, as well as a lot of other teams at Microsoft, have, have helped build. Um, and what we've tried to do is encapsulate all sorts of different types of guidance, uh, samples, and projects that can be a leap pad for you to start building your AI solutions. Um, and it's all open and available to contribute to. So um, definitely check out the, the repository and review some of the various solutions. So Niraj, do you want to talk a little bit about some of the options we have in AI in the Box? Yep, so currently uh, AI in the Box is the standard solution packages that we have been using it up. Uh, these are based on the customer feedbacks or customer things that we have been working with it. Uh, the four common patterns right now we have identified is ML in the Box. Uh, anything related to ML is in the, under the ML in the Box. Uh, the Edge AI, uh, which is a pool one right now, uh, anything related to Edge AI is uh, contributed under that Edge AI part of it. Then AOAI, which is a common right now everybody is asking about it which goes into ai services in a box and then uh the ai services which is also a part of it uh, which goes up in there so these are the four patterns that we are and this is not limited this is just the beginning point that we are bringing into ai in the box this will keep on expanding as we keep on going uh, in further yeah i mean we we've got some guidance there that we can dive into mm -hmm. about responsible AI and, and security, as well as scaling. So, um, and we're always open to add additional solutions for people that are trying to look for guidance in things like adversarial prompting to help prevent against that or good prompt engineering. And we have this big list of all these available patterns and use cases. Um, we talked about that, that ML uh, pipeline, ML in the box, but we also have some different scenarios in Edge. We have doc intelligence um, where you can upload PDFs, extract out the information and, and query against it and get information against it. Um, one of our contributors recently merged in video analysis uh, doing GPT-4, um, yep. you know, trying to summarize what's happening in videos. Really cool stuff. Um, we have a good landing zone that you can do. As a, as a place to build your solutions on. That way we're leveraging private endpoints, managed identities, um, you know, private networks, all, all the things to build your solution securely. Um, all of the BICEP files are in there and things that you can build upon. Um, I'm sure you can speak a little bit about the semantic kernel, Niraj. Uh, I know you've worked with Marcos on this. Yep. Uh, semantic kernel uh, is more like uh, the search, like a bot services that you want to use it up. It is using semantic uh, uh, and uh, vectors the databases in the background uh, to trying to get you back the answers that you're looking for it. So yeah, that is definitely, you can use it up. Um, we had a contribution from somebody uh, in CSAs to do uh, natural language processing to SQL, where it can just take normal language and turn it into SQL statements. It's, it's a really cool service. Um, and finally, uh, I know that you and Alex and a number of others were instrumental in, in this launch, uh, which we worked with our, the product group to make some really cool samples on assistance. Mm -hmm. So Assistant API, which was launched uh, on February 6th uh, in public preview, uh, what we build with along with the PG is some cool samples uh, or cool some codes that can help you out more really fast on the Assistant API. Uh, this is totally evolving. A uh, couple of features as, as it keeps on coming on Assistant API. Uh, these samples are going to be completely evolving out as we speak on it. Yeah, um, so we, we've got a couple here. And if we dive into them, it's, it's really kind of cool. Um, you know, we've, we've got each of these kind of broken down by uh, folders so you can dive into them. And we've got some samples like this is looking about banks or personal finance or a wind farm. And some of these use what we would call Jupyter Notebooks. So you can load these interactive or Jupyter Notebooks and interact with the data very quickly and run it. Um, we have all sorts of different uh, samples across the board that you can dive into, like we said, and they're all 
just laid out inside of these folder structures. So digging in, you can find those semantic kernels, you can find, you know, an AI services, you can dig into GPT. Um, so we're, we're, we're asking for involvement from the community. We want people to use these and build on these. Um, open issues for missing scenarios. Um, we actually have that as a, a template that you can add. Um, if you're having problems building on them or extending these solutions, submit a PR. These are things that we want to be able to collaborate with the community on because we think this is a great spot to, you know, extend your solutions out from a lot of those great samples that exist. Well, let's take these and start building something much more complex. Um, and I know we have some in the works that we're trying to build out. We got some coming down the, the line. Um, uh, Niraj, do you have a couple that you want to share or do you know uh, of some that you're wanting to build out? Uh, I mean, assistant is API, the knowledge retrieval, when it comes in, that is a work in progress right now. As soon as that comes into the feature request, that is coming up. Uh, the other one that uh, a couple of team members are building right now is a vector search uh, thing. Uh, they are also looking for uh, samples related to video uh, GPT-4. Uh, enhancing it more uh, we just had a pg meeting and going on it and then uh we also like i know andreas who's going to be coming on this show is also working with the uh, edge ai team to get a lot of other uh, manufacturing type samples into this repository so that's that's coming up also and you know there's lots of people that play around with these open source models at, at their houses on their you know, their own devices and you know those capabilities exist in Azure. So looking at some of those really cool models you can find out in Hugging Face, finding some of those open source models mm -hmm. to do interesting things with embeddings or you know specialized models for legal or finance. Like we're going to bring some of those samples in to show you how to consume and, and use those models in Azure. Um, and so. Like we've got ideas, but we know there's a lot more ideas out there and people building this stuff. And so this would be a great opportunity to contribute, like I've said. Um, but that's AI in the box. It, it's a great place to get started and start building on. Um, so look forward to control, collaborating and, and having those contributions hit, hit the repository. Looking forward, yep. The benefits that you are gonna get up from this, Chris, is you are going to be a part of a community, right? And people are going to be con constantly collaborate with each other and try to build some cool solutions. This is just a base. I mean, this is just a base that we try to build, but definitely looking for some complex solutions that can help others build uh, more powerful solutions from there. Uh, like I said, we've already got submissions from people around the world, uh, from inside Microsoft, outside Microsoft. So um, I'm just looking forward to see what everybody can build. Yeah. And with that, that's AI in a box. Thank you for joining us. <laughs>